Hiya, yeah, and welcome to this video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a USB installer for Windows operating systems. Now, what I mean by that is basically making your USB stick or thumb drive or pen drive or whatever you want to call them to install Windows from. So, we're going to be installing Windows XP or Windows Vista or Windows 7 from a USB device. Okay, now I've seen loads of tutorials out there and loads of videos out there that I'll show you how to create this, um, how to do this job and how to create a USB device like this. And it is quite a quite a mammoth task to do. Well, this guy's come up with a simple solution. You can come to this website here called wintoflash.com and basically select your uh, language that you want there. Come to the download section, but before I do that, you can actually see what it does. It's just such a tiny little device. It actually creates, um, the USB device for you, so you can actually do it all with your CMUT once I boot it up. You just need to come to uh, the download section here, download this uh, latest version. You can either go Torrent, FTP, which is the one you want really, and then just save that. And it's only, as you can see, only a 2.1 or 2.19 uh, 2 megabytes, nothing major. Okay, now once you've downloaded that, it'll be here. Make a folder on your desktop, call it Winter Flash, open this up. And drag all these fold all these files into that folder, okay, like so. It's that simple. Now, once you've done that, you've got to have your pen drive plugged in. And as you can see, mine's plugged in there. It's the uh, Windows Live CD version. So I'm just going to be writing over that so so we can actually uh, show you this tutorial. So what we need to do here is, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Just need to click on this winter flash executable it's got a firewall we'll allow it to go through okay as you can see it always starts with wizard mode or advanced mode whatever you want to do I'm just going to leave it for wizard mode uh, for this uh, video go next and as you can see it's as simple as putting a DVD in the drive which I've already got my DVD for Windows inside the CD drive it's this one Okay, so that's going to take my Windows 7 off the CD and put it into my USB drive. So I need to get the path for my USB, which is J. So I need to select J. Yours may be different, but so I'm going to have it there. Click OK. Now go next. I can just actually get rid of this back, back folder now. Go next. And as you can see here, I'm going to accept that, continue, format it will erase all data on the target disk, click OK, or cancel if you want to come out of it, but we're going to go OK because we are going to do it. It's now transferring all them files from that DVD drive to my USB device, and that's going to make that USB device um, bootable and actually an installer, so we can actually install Windows 7 from uh, our USB stick, which I think is much easier going into command prompt and doing all this disk part and god knows what else it's just a right old trip this is so easy and uh, just what I'm going to do is just pause the screen to let this install and let it go across and then we'll show you the end result okay so I'll see you back in a second okay we need it in there as you can see it has took some considerable amount of time to do but it's much more simple doing it this way and uh, you may be asking yourself what is the reason for doing this? Well, you may have a you know a little notebook or something like that, or or a laptop with no CD drive or something, and you want to actually install um, Windows from a USB device, or or whatever reasons you you want yourself. But as I said, it does take some considerable amount of time, but it's so much more simpler to do it this way than it was the old way. So um, we'll just carry on and let this finish, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so there we have it, it's now installed, and uh, I'm just going to have to push next now. As you can see it says finished, push next, and it says all done, Windows setup transferred. So we're all ready to go now. And uh, all we need to do now is obviously change the boot order to boot to USB device. If your computer does have that in the BIOS, you need to change that, and uh, that will be it, you'll be good to go. So what was once a very tricky thing to do and very difficult to do has now become very easy. 
all by this piece of software. So let's have a little look at the location quickly. And uh, and there you have it on the USB device. It's all ready to go. So you stick that in and you will boot to that device and that will start to install Windows 7. And as I said, this does work for Windows XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. And uh, I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment up there and I'll do my best to answer them. Any requests for videos, send us a message with your request and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Now, as I said, um, I'll leave the links up for this program and whatever in my description. You better get all the information from there as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.